In this video, we take a look at the best Optifine settings for Minecraft. So the first thing you want to do is you want to load into Minecraft with Optifine, then you want to go ahead and select on Options, then go ahead and select on Video Settings. Now this is the first section that we're going to be taking a look at, and there's multiple different things that we can do in order to get the best performance possible. So guys, if you're looking to get the best FPS out there, what I recommend that you guys do first and foremost is to set your graphics mode to Fast. So you can go ahead and click on it right over here and make sure that Fast is selected. Then where it says Smooth Lighting, you can go ahead and turn that off so i also recommend that you turn off smooth lighting as well because that is something that does create a lot of lag all right the next thing you want to take a look at is render distance so please go ahead and turn it down and i would say the range between 8 to 12 chunks is ideal so if you're trying to get the best performance possible go ahead and just set it all the way down to eight chunks at eight chunks you still are able to see like a decent amount of stuff going on uh but it's not overwhelming to the point where it's gonna like lag your device or anything like that so that's why i prefer putting the render distance within the range of eight chunks to 12 chunks so if you guys have been finding this video helpful so far consider checking out our partners over at Simple Game Hosting. Simple Game Hosting offers affordable and high quality Minecraft server hosting where you're easily able to set up a 24 7 unlimited slot server for you and all your friends. The best part about Simple Game Hosting is that you're easily able to customize every single aspect of your Minecraft server. You can make it Java only, Bedrock only, crossplay, etc., with the click of a single button, and you're also able to add mods, mod packs, and plugins. They have dozens of video tutorials showing you how to do everything, along with 24 7 live customer support where you can have a Minecraft server expert walk you through the entire process start to finish. And at the moment, they're currently doing a sale where everybody who gets a Minecraft server gets 25% off their very first month of server hosting. So if that sounds interesting, feel free to check out the link in the description down below and in the pinned comment. All right, now over here where it says maximum frame rate, please go ahead and keep that at unlimited if you haven't already. All right, and now what you wanna do from here is you wanna go ahead and select over here where it says details, and then you're gonna notice that Optifine's gonna give you this brand new menu. Now over here where it says clouds, make sure to turn that off, and where it says trees, go ahead and set that too fast, and where it says sky, go ahead and turn that off. And where it says sun and moon, you can go ahead and turn that off as well. And where it says fog, you can go ahead and set that to off as well in order to get the best performance possible. Uh, auto save indicator, I recommend that you keep that on. And where it says rain and snow, you can go ahead and set that to fast mode as well. And that is gonna help you out significantly with performance. Turn off stars and where it says show capes, you can go ahead and turn that off as well. And over here we have entity render distance. Now this is actually gonna make a big difference depending on if your world has a lot of entities. So if you have like a big chicken farm, for example, then that is going to cause a lot of lag just the sheer amount of entities so what i recommend that you guys do is where it says entity distance go ahead and turn that to 50 percent just like so that is going to help you out significantly all right then you want to go ahead and press on done just like so and now you want to go over here to where it says performance so over here where it says performance make sure that render regions is off star animations is off smooth fps is off and where it says chunk updates make sure that is set to number one that is going to give you the best performance and the highest fps make sure that lazy chunk loading is turned on and go ahead and copy these settings as well so the performance settings also do matter a ton so that is very important all right now let's go ahead and take a look over here where it says quality now where it says quality you guys are able to go ahead and actually adjust more things where it says emissive textures you can go ahead and turn that off to get even better performance and where it says better grass you can make sure that's off custom fonts make sure that's off connected textures make sure that's off custom sky make sure that's off custom entity models go ahead and set that to off better snow turned off normal textures turn off custom items turned off right over here and where it does say custom guis go ahead and turn that off as well then go ahead and press on done then go ahead and press on done one more time then go ahead and press on done and then from here go ahead and see if you do notice a significant difference in your performance after you adjusted all the settings all right so here's our game now and after doing all those steps you will notice that we are actually hovering over 300 to 400 fps which is honestly really good and it's far more fps than i normally do get when playing minecraft for reference i'm using an rtx 2060 so i hope my graphics card kind of gives you a little bit of a benchmark on where your device would actually you know fall under so yeah i'm not gonna lie to you guys the graphics may not look as great but you are able to get significantly better performance and obviously if you're playing on a lower end device then performance does play a significant factor and i recommend that you go ahead and actually apply these optifine settings obviously you can go ahead and adjust things to your liking a little bit more so if you still want some smooth lighting you can go ahead and turn that back on as well but obviously it may impact your performance all right now there's actually more things that we can do in order to improve our performance using optifine and that involves us going to the minecraft launcher so let's go ahead and close out of minecraft really quickly and open the minecraft launcher all right guys so here we are in the minecraft launcher and here's what you guys need to do you need to make sure 
sure that Minecraft Job Edition is selected, then go over here to where it says installations in the top menu. And you wanna go ahead and locate your Optify installation. So here it is. And what I recommend that you guys do is press on these three dots, then go ahead and select on edit. Then go ahead and select on more options. And then you're gonna see this line that says JVM arguments. And from here, please go ahead and look at the first term. So the first term is gonna have something along the lines of XMX2G. Now by default, it is gonna be set to 2G and that is basically the amount of RAM that your device is using in order to run Minecraft. So the more RAM that you allocate to Minecraft, the more resources Minecraft has in order to give you better performance. So by default, it is gonna set it to two gigabytes of RAM and that may not be enough. So I recommend that you delete the two and replace it with the amount of gigabytes of RAM that you have on your system. So me personally, my computer has eight gigabytes worth of RAM. So I'm gonna go ahead and just select on eight, just like so. But if you have a PC that has 16 gigabytes of RAM, then you wanna go ahead and type in 16, or if you have 32, go ahead and type in 32. Then you can go ahead and press on save just like so. And that is gonna give your Minecraft game significantly more RAM and resources in order to run smoother. So guys, if you were able to find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next tutorial.